New tonight, have you noticed a double charge on your bank account? The city of Medford says a system glitch caused some customers to be charged twice for their utility bills. NBC 5's Nicole Stein spoke with the city and one customer who was affected. She joins us live in studio with more. Nicole. Okay, Kristen, the city says uh, the error only affected some customers on auto pay and the money will be returned. But for one woman who is on a fixed income, the double charge on her account is making this week difficult. It could escalate into a lot of problems for people on fixed income such as myself. Lana Wright is a senior citizen on Social Security. She has no internet, no cell phone, and still pays most of her bills with checks. But when the city of Medford gave the option to put her utility bill on auto pay, she thought, why not? This was my first attempt at anything auto. I thought, well, you know, this is cool thing they're offering. Wright says she hasn't had an issue in the last two years of using auto pay. But this month, something went wrong. When I got home, I checked it. Sure enough, an extra payment of $45.92 was taken out of my checking account. The city of Medford says the company it's contracted with, Selectron, took down the auto pay system for an update. In the process, some auto pay customers were double charged. A customer service employee told customers the money was refunded Monday and should show up in bank accounts later this week. Wright says waiting for the money to come back is frustrating. I can't uh, touch anything in my account till this is taken care of. And the error has made Wright nervous to ever use auto pay again. When I get uh, where I cannot handle my own finances anymore, it would be nice to be able to have something like this offered to you. But now I can't trust them. I can't yeah. do it. Medford Public Works Director Corey Krebin says the city, quote, regrets the considerable inconvenience this has caused our affected customers, and we are working with the vendor to ensure such occurrences are not repeated in the future. Live in studio, Nicole Stein, NBC5 News.